Now see a phenomenon of beats we can use to determine the unknown frequency of the given tuning fork. Here there are the two tuning forks I have taken. One is A whose frequency is nu 1 and another is B whose frequency is nu 2. These two tuning forks are sounded together then the beats are formed. And now see here when the beats are formed we can write nu 2 minus nu 1 is equal to plus minus m, m is called beats frequency or the number of beats per second. So, we can write nu 2 is equal to nu 1 plus minus m. Now, see here nu 2 is here unknown frequency, this is called unknown frequency and nu 1 is known frequency, m is the number of beats. So, we can get nu 2 by knowing the nu 1 and m. But the, here the positive and negative sign of this m are decided by the two ways. See here nu 2 is equal to nu 1 plus minus m and here we can take here first one by loading fork b with the wax. So, we are going to decide the sign of m or the sign of the bits frequency whether it will be positive or negative. Here nu 1 is known frequency and nu 2 is unknown frequency. So, now first one by loading fork B with wax, this unknown frequency is here, this tuning fork is loaded with the wax, then it becomes heavier and its frequency decreases. In that case, there are the two conditions may arise. First one, if number of beats per second decreases, by loading this, if number of beats per second decreases, then we take M is positive and if the number of beats per second increases, then we take M is negative here this m sign is here negative. But in place of b, if you are loading a, then the same thing is will be here. Similarly, we can decide if the number of beats per second increases by loading a, then we can take m is positive and if the number of beats per second decreases on loading a, then we can take m is here negative. So, we have reversed the sign in that case. So, now this is the first way by loading the tuning fork b with the wax. See here in this case, here the by filing fork B. Now, the fork B is here filed and then it is sounded together with the fork A and then we count the number of beats per second. Suppose the number of beats per second increases, then we take M is positive and if the number of beats per second decreases, then we take M is negative. So, now let us do one example related to this where we have to find out the unknown frequency. Now, see here, this is the example here actually based on the waxing and filing of the tuning fork and to find unknown frequency, two tuning forks sounded together produces 3 beats per second. On loading one of them with a little wax, 20 beats are heard in 4 seconds. When one of them is loaded with the wax, 20 beats are heard. It means bits frequency becomes here 20 by 4 is equal to 5 bits per second. So, when one of them is loaded, the 5 bits per second is here, number of bits is increasing after loading. And now, if that of the other is frequency of the, of the known tuning fork is 386 hertz, what is the unknown frequency or what is the frequency of the other tuning fork? So, we can take nu 2 is equal to nu 1 plus minus m, m is the number of beats per second. So, nu 2 is equal to 386 plus minus 3, there are 389 or we can write 383. Suppose you take 389, nu 2 is 389. So, if nu 2 is 389 initially and when it is loaded with the wax, its frequency decreases when its frequency decreases and the its frequency is 386 of the new one. So, the number of beats will also will decrease, but in the question number of beats are increasing. So, this frequency is not possible, but when you take 383. So, when you take 383 and load it with the wax number of frequency sorry the frequency of this will decrease as a result number of beats will also decrease. So, obviously, that is in the question also number of beats are increasing after loading. Therefore, the nu 2 will be here 383 hertz. So, by this way we have to calculate unknown frequency.